this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create custom gift boxes using Adobe Photoshop. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jam, and here we are already in Adobe Photoshop. And what you're seeing here on screen is a gift wrap, a gift box that I got from Envato Elements. And if you want to download this mock-up so you can design with me, go ahead and check the links in this video description. That way you can download the mock-up. Now, Envato Elements is the sponsor of today's video, but we'll talk a little bit more about them later on. So it is the season of giving, and if you're doing any kind of graphic for a client or for yourself to use within this holiday season, this is a pretty cool thing that you can do. This is a gift box mock-up, as I mentioned, right? And the cool thing about it is we can change the wrapping. We can change the color of the bowl. Let me go ahead and show it to you right here. So when you open this file, you get all the sources in this group. You just open the source group, right? You see bowl and box. And if I were to go ahead and click on bowl, you'd see this layer right here that says bow color, right? Let me go ahead and make these thumbnails larger. Let's go to medium thumbnail. So here I am with the bow color. And if I were to just click on a color, you'd see that the color of the bow is being changed, right? How cool is that? These are just my learn share colors. And if I wanted to use the orange and let's say I want to make the box blue, let me go ahead and find the box group that's right here, right? So click to open the box group, find the elements here. And you can see you have some elements that says top, set top side, top side two, side one. You see what's happening when I click them on and off, right? Let me zoom in. Let's go again, top, top of the box, top side one, top side two, side one and side two. And these are all smart objects, meaning that you can customize them, right? And if you were to go ahead and double click on, let's say, let's do side one, right? And then double click on this icon here in the bottom right hand corner and you'll see the checkered background, the same checkered background that you're seeing right here, right? So if you were to go ahead and turn this off or let's just go ahead and create a color fill. Let's click on our um, adjustment layer icon here let's choose a solid color and let's you know let's not use orange let's use yellow let's use a learn your learn share of blue sorry <laughs> and then if i were because this is a smart object that you have on screen to make the changes that you made within this smart object reflect in your main project right here so this is our main project and this is a smart object within the main project you have to save it so Control and s on your keyboard to save the changes within the smart object and then it will be reflected on our main project like so see that we have the, a box that is blue and all i can do next is go back to the layer and change the color again and hit Control and s to save again and you see the color change now it gets even cooler if i were to go ahead and open all of the other sides right i'm just going to open all of them and let me just copy this blue the blue color fill layer let me paste it in here, Control and S. Let me open all of them. Let me just open all of them and then paste the blue color fill in all of them, right? So paste, Control and S to save. Um, paste, Control and S to save. Paste, Control and S to save. I copied it from the original Control and C to copy, Control and V to paste, right? Now, if I go back to the box, you'll see that the entire box is blue, right? How cool is that? And now you can go back to the bow and just experiment with the bow, right? You have, let's do with the red. And if you wanted, you can change the color to green, you know, to have that holiday, Christmas, green and red, you know. Um, so what you can also do is add a photo to this, right? So what I wanted to do was, let me go ahead and make the, the bow blue, right? I wanted to go ahead and make a box with the YouTube logo. So let me just go ahead and go back to the main side. This is the first one that we worked on, right? Let me turn off that layer. Let me change this blue layer to white. And then let me bring in the YouTube logo. Here's the YouTube logo. I'm just dragging it in. Let me just make it bigger by picking a corner. If it, if it doesn't work for you to drag it in, you can go to file and then place embedded and then you can locate your file that way. So let me just go ahead and just make this like, let's double it up, right? Let me just make it bigger about there to increase the size i just did um control and t to get my transform options let me just move it around here 
Control and J to duplicate it, right? Let's do three of them. Control and J again. All right, let's keep it there. Let's move the middle ones. Um, and then let's select all of them and hit Control and G to put them in a group. And then let's name the group um, ET, <laughs> ET, YT icon. <laughs> and then let me align it. Those pink lines there are telling me that it is perfectly centered. Let's hit Control and S to save and go back and see what we have. How cool is that? That is so cool. Now what I can do is I can copy the YT icon and the white color field because remember we have two sides, right? So let me co copy that Control and C and then let's find back this side right here, right? So that should be side two, right? So let me double click on it and it will open for me. Let me turn this off. And remember, I copied the YouTube icon on the white background just now, and I just don't want to paste it. I want to paste it in the exact same position where I copied it from, so it looks the same as the other side. So to do that, I'm gonna hit Control, Shift, and V, and paste it, and it's in the same position. Then I can hit Control and S to save. Let me close both of them, oops. <laughs> save, Control and S to save. And now you'll see that we have our YouTube gift box coming right along nicely right now what i can do for the top is the top is almost the same size as this so let's go to the top right and let's hit Control shift and v to paste it in the same coordinates right because the top of the box is the same um measurement as the sides right so let's we saved it con with Control and s let's go back to the main box and you can see the logo is up there as well let me find the top where is it all right here let me close that no for the thin sides, these thin blue sides, right? Let me close this one as well because I'm finished with that. Let me go ahead and hit Control Shift and V to paste it in the exact same coordinates. And then let me turn off the blue, turn off the original checkers that was there. Let me go into the YouTube icon group. Let me turn off the top two and the bottom two. I just need the two middle ones, right? Control and T to make them smaller in size. Like about there, right? Let's move it over. And let's duplicate the other one. Let's duplicate one of them, Control and J, just so we can have three. And that measurement there, while I'm moving it, is telling me that it's the same distance in between, 148 pixels, right? Then I'm going to delete what I'm not using, clicking on them, delete, 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 delete. And then let me just um, Control and T for my YouTube icon group. And let me move it over. And these pink lines that's running horizontally and vertically is telling me that they are in the perfect center. Press enter to place it, then control and S to save. And what we're going to do is before we go to the next side, we're going to just copy these in the meantime, control and C, then control and S to save again. And you see we have our logos here. Let's go back to this blue side that we still have opened. Control Shift and V to paste it in the exact same coordinates. And then we can hit Control and S to save so we can see our changes that we just made. And there we are, a full blown YouTube gift box. And hey, you don't have to use the YouTube logo. The powerful thing about mockups is that you can do anything you want with it. You can use your own brand logo, you can use your client's brand logo, and mockups are just a cool way to represent your design, right? And the design that we made today is a YouTube gift box. And what I can do next is I can change the bow color, right? Since the YouTube logo is red and the Christmas, the holiday theme colors are red and green, let me just change the color of the bow to green. Double click on it, right? And just find a nice green that we like like so right that's cool right you can tell that it's christmas right and you have other controls over here you can change the highlights on the bow you know you have two layers of highlights right there and you have shadows but i i like to keep them because that represents the mock-up in its best form you have highlights and shadows as well on the gift box and all i have to do is just collapse all of these groups and then i can go ahead to file and then save a copy and i can save this as a jpeg to use on my social media platform right all i have to do is just go ahead and click save and you are done and if you wanted to change the background there is a background group and all you have to do click on the color layer right here and just change the background to whatever you want obviously white looks better we could not have done this mock-up tutorial without this 
awesome Christmas gift box mock-up that we got from Envato Elements. And remember, gift boxes aren't only used at Christmas time, so you can use them all year round. And Envato Elements is where I go to get mock-ups like these and other mock-ups such as Christmas gift cards and Christmas ornaments. And I use Envato Elements every single day in creating my YouTube videos, as you just saw right here. And if you're a graphic designer or an aspiring graphic designer, you can try Envato Elements free for seven days using the first link in this video's description. And when you like what you see, you can get 70% off a month's subscription by using the second link in this video's description. And the coolest thing about Envato Elements is that you can download unlimited assets with your subscription. So unlimited graphic templates, unlimited social media graphics, and unlimited royalty free music if that's what you want for your project. So have you ever designed a custom gift box before? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're new to Photoshop or new to the graphic design space and you want to learn how to use Photoshop so you can design along with me, click right at the screen right now to watch my beginner Photoshop tutorial. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.